I interviewed Anush Sharani. He's a Canadian uh, author. He wrote a book called The Parcel. And he said to un truly understand someone's interior world, you need to understand their wound and you need to really understand the depth of their wound. And that's the starting point. And once you do understand the wound, then you understand the interior world of that character. Is that something that, that reverberates with you when you write or when, when you put this together? Yeah, I, th I think absolutely. And I think that's, it's a lovely quote and it goes away to explaining some of even the villainous women in the yes. show, you know, or, or the women who we think of as, as being antagonistic, like the Queen of the Night who has that fabulous aria in Mozart's The Magic Flute. You know, she's, she is intent on revenge and she's intent on seeing someone killed, but it's because she has lost all her power because, you know, her husband has, give, has died and left all of the power to someone else rather than to her. And so it's known technically as a rage aria, but it's, it's like, it's one of the best known pieces, you know, in the classical music canon. And I think what's so great about it, yeah, she's absolutely furious, but she's singing with like, you know, absolute pinprint accuracy mm. her voice is leaping around but when you know her wound when you understand what's brought her to this murderous sort of you know vengeful place of rage you have a lot of empathy for her and you know Mozart she's another one who perhaps is loosely based on someone in history on the um, the Empress Maria Theresa you know and so we do see all these echoes of history even in even in the women who are villainous even in the women who are thought of as uh, you know vengeful or bad even Delilah who are I was mentioning earlier you know yes she's a femme fatale and yes she uses her seductive powers to to blind Samson and take away his power but she's got good reasons for that and yes. I think that's part of the show as well it's about women's interior worlds yes. and their motivation and what has brought them to this place and often it's it's a desperate place often it's a place of pleading you know to God or to someone to help them but sometimes it is a place of you know revenge and rage and um, that is part of the spectrum of female emotion isn't exactly. it that's part of what women feel yes is the full rage. depth and rage and is not just rage. a one-dimensional uh, character yeah yeah, yeah.